here as this is actually a transmitter board this is the LoRa uh, 8 P32 430 uh, 30D. It's a LoRa model. It's an antenna be connected, and uh, they are using a nano board at the rate of 8 controller. And this is a receiver. So it's the receiver side. Uh, we connect a buzzer uh, to demonstrate only this is the receiver and this is the transmitter. This is not like that. We can also transmit from here to here. But uh, for the demonstration purpose, we just uh, use this uh, reconfiguration transfer as the receiver. Now, uh, as we connect it, as we connect this data, uh, as we connect this to the power supply, this will transmit the data, and this uh, once it receives the data, it will uh, give a alarm sound. So you can notice here this LED is start blinking here also the receiver LED start blinking if you remove the supply so you can see after this I can return the code like uh, after this I can remove now if you connect again it will it start beeping So you can use it for the long range communication for this LoRa. So if you remove again. This circuit is a LoRa transmitter module. So this LoRa E32 433T3 30D. Uh, this module is uh, around 8 km range. So uh, here we are using uh, this LoRa in mode 0 uh, in both transmitter as well as uh, receiver to make uh, mode 0. So we connected M0 and M1 to ground and we connected RX, RX2. Arduino TX, uh, Arduino, T uh, Arduino RX2, LoRa TX means you need to connect TX of LoRa to RX of Arduino and RX of LoRa to TX of Arduino means any of the things I mean uh, any of the controller if you instead of if you are using any other controller you need to connect uh, TX to RX, RX to TX for to this to this this is the LED connection so see for uh, for the representation we connected a 5 volt as a battery so if you not got the 5 volt battery so you need to either you can use a 5 volt adapter or you can use a regulated power supply from uh, you need to convert 12 volt to 5 volt using a regulated power supply and you can use it so here uh, AUX it indicates uh, whenever it is low so whenever it is low this LED LED will be uh, this is the one. This LED will be high. You see, if it is high, so then this will get this busy. So while transmitting the data, AX pin will go low. So this is the active low. So we also designed if this bit is low, but then only LED will be turned off. So whenever we transmit the data or receive the data, this uh, corresponding LEDs of RX and TX LEDs will, will be on. This indicates so that is the transmitting the data. So uh, this we uh, soldered and we kept a circuit. Well, uh, you can see the video in the video. I mean uh, uh, the circuited uh, soldered circuit. So. So this is a receiver module here here also the circuit is remains same so you can connect uh, uh, m0 and m1 m to ground to make this as uh, mode uh, zero uh, again rx rx you need to connect uh, rx means 
so it's the third pick from top so you can match here so again same circle there's no difference in the XMP circles here we added an extra puzzle so to indicate whenever the data receives this is a receiver module so receiver side I kept uh, see this is a duplex mode I mean as like uh, LoRa is like you can transfer as well as you can receive but one thing here is while transmitting the data you can't receive either you can transmit or you can receive as we tested this is not allowing uh, at a time uh, it won't receive and uh, it won't transmit at a time so uh, as soon as the transmitter send the data so receiver module will receive and Arduino here Arduino is uh, you can see D2 is connected to the base of the transistor to switching the uh, power supply to the buzzer so here the modes of operation see uh, for this video I will just uh, to cut down the video line so and in the this is criterion is a part 1 here uh, only I will explain how uh, what these modes are Please, M1 0 means we need to connect to ground, 1 means we need to connect to 5 volt. So, uh, so in, now we are using LoRa in a normal mode. So we are transmitting as well as the CV. See if it is a M, M0 0 and M1 0, UART and wireless channel are open and transmit uh, transparent transmission is on. See in mode 0, mode 1 uh, uh, is almost similar, but the only difference is with mode 0 before transmitting the uh, in the mode 1 uh, before transmitting data so we need to you know, add the wake up code automatically so that it can wake that receiver mode receiver uh, this is actually a wake up mode mode 1 is a wake up mode this is a mode 0 is a normal mode mode 2 is a power saving mode so here you are close wireless is uh, under air awakening mode after receiving the data you are open and send the data see in this mode transmitter must be in mode 1 because uh, receiver you can keep it in uh, power saving mode but transmitter is it's in always in a mode 1 or mode 3 can keep it once the data is received, then only it will uh, start to receive the data on that lock bit. So we won't use the sleep mode. In the sleep mode generally uh, to set the parameter is it. Either it may be a baud rate or uh, if you want to set any of the things, you can use in uh, go with a mode of 3. I can't